Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello friends, welcome back once again to the GDC YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the synthesis of ketamine. What is the ketamine? Ketamine is a general anesthetic, basically dissociative general anesthetic. So ketamine is dissociative general anesthetic. What is the meaning of dissociative? This ketamine produces the unpleasant hallucination and a strong feeling of dissociation from the environment. So that's why this is known as the dissociative general anesthetic. Ketamine is also used in the intensive care, mainly used in intensive care of patient. As well as in the emergency, it used with diazepam as an analgesic. So in emergency, used as analgesic. Not a preferred analgesic, but even in emergency, it can be used. Okay. So now let's discuss the synthesis of the ketamine. The synthesis of ketamine is started from the two chloro benzonitrile. This is chlorine and here CN. This is the two chloro benzonitrile. This two chloro benzonitrile when reacted with the cyclopentyl magnesium bromide cyclopentyl magnesium bromide pentyl 5 membered ring cyclo cyclic in nature cyclopentyl magnesium bromide this reaction take place in the presence of hydrogen ion and the water then what happened this cyclic pentylene attached with this cyanide group here and ultimately what happened here this phenyl ring have the chlorine on the second position it's C O here five member pentyl ring this new intermediate form and the name of this new intermediate is 2 chloro 2 chloro phenyl 2 chloro phenyl cyclopentyl ketone cyclopentyl ketone now this 2 chloro phenyl cyclopentyl ketone when reacted with the bromine with bromine then CO here bromine will attest here already is your chlorine the second intermediate form here this intermediate when reacted with methyl amine that is CH3 NH2 CH3 NH2 then what happened this phenyl CO now this since here with the methylamine there is the hydrogen and water also and that will convert this oxygen will be removed out and here methyl amino group will be attached. 
so here it becomes c n h and here c s 3 now this cyclo pentyl ring and this bromine which also converted into the hydroxyl group here chlorine this new intermediate form and its name is 1 hydroxy 1 hydroxy 2 chlorophenyl 2 chlorophenyl this is cyclopentyl cyclopentyl ketone and methyl ketone and methyl now this intermediate when heated at a higher temperature then on the heating what happened this five membered ring becomes the six membered ring unsaturated six membered ring and the final product here becomes like this it's the phenyl have the chlorine substitution it's become six membered unsaturated ring and here and here it's the ketone this member will be and here in this and H CS3 and H CS3 and this is the ketamine and the IPC name of the ketamine is 2 2 chlorophenyl 2 methyl amino cyclohexanone so this is the synthesis of the ketamine very easy have a quick revision 2 chlorobenzonitrile reacted with the cyclopentyl magnesium bromide cyclopentane magnesium bromide cyclopentane magnesium bromide in the presence of hydrogen ion and water molecule it's formed the 2 chlorophenyl cyclopentyl ketone now this 2 chlorophenyl cyclopentane ketone when reacted with the bromine then bromine molecule attached here on the reaction with the CS3 NS2 in the presence of hydrogen ion and water it formed the 1 hydro 2 chlorophenyl cyclopentyl ketone and methyl its ketone C double bond O and ketone ketone and methyl on the heating at the high degree temperature it becomes the 6 membered unsaturated ring that called as the ketamine and the name of the ketamine is 2,2-chlorophenyl, 2-methyl amino cyclohexanone. This is the synthesis of the ketamine. Thank you.